Okay, so we talked about protecting our passwords and making them more secure and stronger with password managers. But now it's time to shift our focus on file and hard disk security. Files are in most cases the most important thing that we hold on our device. So if we have anything that is of a big value to us, we must protect it. We already know that there are multiple ways of someone hacking your machine over the internet through various vulnerabilities or social engineering methods, but that is not the only way someone can access our computer. There is always a danger of someone physically accessing our device, whether we leave it on the table and go somewhere for a few minutes, or they simply just steal the entire device, they can present a threat to our data. However, to protect our data, our files and everything that we have, we can perform hard disk encryption. This way, even if the thief steals our device, it will be useless for him since he won't be able to get the data from it. We will still however lose our device, but it's better than losing device and someone accessing your files. The hard disk encryption will usually require a password and a key that it will generate before encrypting all the files. These two are important to always remember and write down somewhere and store it in a safe place, since in case you lose them, you won't be able to access your own files anymore, which you don't really want to happen. Now that we mentioned why is hard disk and file encryption important, let's take a look at some simple tools that you can use to encrypt your files today. Okay, so I want you to visit this website right here. Since this website has a good list of useful tools that you can use to encrypt your files, whether you're using Windows or Mac OS. Down here, it will give you a bunch of different options that you can choose from, such as something called LastPass, which you should be familiar with since we did mention it in the previous lecture. You can also use the default Windows BitLocker, and this can only be used on Windows, and it's a pretty useful tool to encrypt your drive. Down here you can read more about it, you can read which encryption does it use, and you can also take a look at the reasons why you should use BitLocker. Even more simple thing to use is File Vault for macOS. Down here it explains also which encryption it uses, and it does tell you how you can access it and how you can turn it on on your macOS device. Besides these two default encryptors, you can also take a look at some of the different ones such as Veracrypt, which you can download. Just by clicking on this link, it should lead you to their website where you can get their software. Same goes with each and every one of these that are in this list. Feel free to choose whichever one that you like. Usually the best option would be to go with the default ones such as File Vault or BitLocker but it's completely your choice. Nonetheless, now that we covered this, let's take a look at some of the different threat monitoring tools that you can use on your device to figure out whether someone has infected it with a malware or whether there's something unusual going on on your device. See you in the next lecture.